What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. And guys, today we are talking about this particular clip that our brother Keith sent us. You know, he always making sure that I get these damn videos. And this is a goddamn good video, right? Because it talks about more females and some of their dating choices, which obviously we like talking about on this channel. Now, there's a particular lady. She's definitely from New York. I don't know if she's Latino or Puerto Rican, um, but she's talking to this brother about why she's in love with toxic men, right? And, you know, um, what I want to actually do is, is she wants to talk about how the last boyfriend who was really good for her, he was a really good, powerful, I mean, a good man, like more stable than everything. She, she was bored with him, but now that she's struggling with Pookie and Ray Ray, she is having a great time in this toxic relationship, although the guy doesn't treat her as nice. So let's go ahead and play that clip and we'll come back to it. Toxic relationships more fun? I feel like um, toxic relationships are more fun. I was with somebody who um, gave me everything, was good to me, let me like do whatever I want whenever I want it. I still felt, I felt empty, like, inside. Mm. I felt lonely. I felt empty. I felt like a hole inside of me. But I feel like now, you know what I'm saying, my man's a little toxic and stuff. <laughs> but the sex is good. And, yeah, I just feel more emotionally connected to that person because we go through certain things and then we make up, you know? So it's like, it's pretty toxic. So you, so that, so you like the, so you like bad guys. No. Yeah, I mean, that's what it sounds like. You said you had a man, right? He was good to you, right? He helped teach you certain things and everything was good, but you still felt it was like an emptiness there. It was like lack of passion or something like that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But then now the bad guy, you know, he more like he's going to give you that the drama. I think do you do you think that like you're attracted to drama like you want no, the drama in your life? No. I really don't think that though. I don't think I'm attracted to drama. Well, you just said you but the but you say your man is more your man that you with now is more toxic than the man that you was with, but this man brings a is it more exciting to you? Is it like tell me like what do you think it is? Let's dive deep in this. No. Tell me like talk to me like tell me what you mean like like what is it like is it you know, obviously he do things differently than the it's it's something that's keeping you. It's something. No, it's that's definitely the passion. Like it's definitely like I feel alive. Like you know what I mean. Like when you wake up, do it, is it like a difference? Like if you you wake up and you feel like I right, what I'm go like I don't know what today is going to bring. What the other one? Is no, I think routine? I just I think I feel more connected. Like I said, because we go we have gone through more things more drama. emotionally. Yeah, more. Well, no, but more, that's what it is. Yeah, you like, through we got more, through more things emotionally and then we make up so it just make us feel like we closer you know what i mean so you so is it the makeup sex that you uh, uh addicted to that so you like the drama so you can have makeup sex like no that's a part of it but that's not all of it like i just feel close to the person closer to the person than what i did even to the person that i was with with in a longer stretch or period of time mm -hmm. you get it so i still felt disconnected from that person because it was like not much emotionally going on yeah, how do you feel about toxic relationships? <laughs> My nigga side of me loves it. Why y'all love it though? That's really what I want to know. Why however, do niggas not toxic? Know, Why? However, I I know better, but even when knowing better, like as you said, I think that um the mentality on the way, I think the past growing up and watching past traumas or having traumas, mm -hmm. I'm so addicted to or I should say it's like the, you know, I think that this is normal. You Are you going to marry, would you marry a woman you like that you have a toxic, exciting relationship with? No. I would never marry a woman that I have a toxic, but however, I, you know, it it's satisfying a side of me 
that I grew up watching my whole entire life. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but I know better. So the reason why I won't marry it because I know I know better. So, you know, um, dealing with someone, knowing that it's toxic, knowing that, you know, we always in arguments, you know, whole nine yards. Like I'm I, at one point of my life, like I thought that that was what a relationship supposed to look like. You know what I'm saying? Until um, now, I'm, I don't want to deal with that type of drama, but it is. I understand the drama, the passion behind it. You in your mind, psychologically, you think that if this person ain't treating you or acting a certain. So you heard what she had to say. All right. And shout out to the F child support page for the video. Now, if you listen to what she's talking about, if you really look at this, here is a woman that I can guarantee you she's come from some kind of dysfunctional background. Okay. Now it's true that maybe the guy could have done a little bit better um, connecting with her or connecting with her emotionally because you know women love different, differently, depending on who they are. But this is a woman that doesn't have any respect for herself, right? It's obvious because in order for a man to connect to her, that man has to disrespect her. And then because they're going through bullshit because they're fighting, it makes her more attached. Although if you look at it, she's not really making any progress in the relationship. She can't explain why she loves him. She can't explain any of those things. All she knows is I'm fighting with this nigga. And you know, because of that, we're going back and forth. I feel more connected to him, which, a lot of guys are dealing with a woman like this because she's pretty, she looks good, and you're nice to her. But we have to understand that people in urban communities, whether they be African American, whether they be Dominican, whether they be Puerto Rican or whatever it is, especially in New York, you just have people who just can't be helped. All right? You are dealing with people, and shout out to where the Pan Africanism strikes back. That are walking around the world thinking that don't nobody love them and because nobody ever loved them they go around dealing with what they think love is love is dysfunction love is excitement love is him going upside my damn head then when there are women out here that are like that and unfortunately guys do get with ladies like this and, and the ladies might like them but they're not able to appreciate good guys and when it happens, the best thing that can happen to you is she leave you for toxic Tyrone. You know, it's the best thing that can happen to you. It's the greatest thing that can happen to you. Because do you know what? If you are a good brother or a good man in, in general, and you have a not lot to offer to a lady, you shouldn't have to be toxic for her to want to like you. You shouldn't have to. And you know, that's the thing about a, a lot of American women you kind of have to be mean to them to kind of, you have to kind of run asshole game on them. Like in America, I'm sorry. When I was in Uganda, I didn't, I didn't experience that. I didn't have to be mean to anybody, you know, for them to, 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 to like me or to be my friend or to do, you know, other people in other parts of the world, they don't have to do that. In America, you have to be an asshole to get somebody to like you. And similar that's what a lot of guys in the black community are complaining. In the culture, in the urban culture, hey, I have to do something to you real messed up for you to know that, oh, I like you. That's not how it works in every other part of the world. It only works like that in dumbass America. And again, relationships should be stable because you can't go far in toxic environments. There has to be stability, mental stability. And I'm going to say this again, a lot of times it, this, this happens with women who don't come from two parent homes. Some guys are not going to like that, but that's the truth. You know, it's definitely the truth. But guys, what do you think about this? It's your boy, 
O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe with the bell. Check out the first comment pinned to the top. Check out the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out. Thank you.